we've been working on this uh, simple site um, and it comes time where uh, uh, the best thing to do is to uh, introduce you to the concept of stories in ARCHICAD. Um, so I have prepared a little diagram over here. Um, I'm, I'm panning by the way, clicking the wheel of my mouse and dragging across. Uh, this little diagram represents how stories work. They reflect um, surveying techniques in uh, the, the way surveying techniques work. So what we have is um, a datum. Uh, in this case, in surveying in Australia, we refer to uh, the national datum as the Australian height datum, which is approximately means sea level. And so here we have uh, little waves representing sea level. And normally what happens is we create um, a plane and give that plane a height above sea level. Now, let's say we created this plane. Oh, this isn't to do with ARCHICAD. It's just uh, the way surveying works. So we have an Australian height datum, uh, which ARCHICAD refers to as Project Zero or one of the datums you can uh, refer to to it as Project Zero. But let's just say the Australian height datum right around the country referred to as, the, as AHD um, we'll call Project Zero. Or we'll, we'll refer to how ARCHICAD refers to that as Project Zero. And then we can create other stories above that um, datum or that level. And uh, ground floor, a ground floor story, a first floor story, and so on up. And we can give each one of these stories a height. Um, the stories appear here in the Navigator palette as separate plan views. And they represent, I guess, what you would want to show on each floor plan view of the building. Um, we can move things from one story to the other. But I'm, I'm just zooming out, again using the wheel of my mouse, zooming out, panning. And then I'll bring up the Stories dialog box and show you how it works. It's under the Design pull-down menu, Story Settings, here it is here. Um, and the story, we've only got one story at the moment, which is the one we've been working in. Um, and to show you how to add a story, I can, let's firstly name this story, that is, we're down here, right down here, and I'm going to uh, name this story um, AHD, Australian Height Datum. And in this dialog box, um, we generally just change the figure in the column that says Height to Next. So let's say we change this one, for argument's sakes, to 5 metres. Okay. And then we're going to insert another story above this one. So insert above, and I'm going to call this one uh, ground floor level. Okay. And height to next, we don't have to worry about too much until we add another story. But the level of that story, ARCHICAD has now set at 5 meters above zero. So I say OK and I'll instantly jump to that story. Now you notice um, things look like they've disappeared. I can jump from one story to another. You see how another floor plan window has been generated here. So I can double click Australian height datum and I can jump back to there. Double click uh, ground floor story and I jump back to here. So you'll also notice that at the top of the screen it gives you the name of the story here where I'm pointing to. And when I'm down in AHD it will call that AHD up here. So let's, uh, I'm going to drag back to the site that we were working on and you'll notice that as I jump up the site seems to disappear. Let's go down to the uh, AHD level, I'm going to select my site. Um, holding the shift key, 
and clicking on the site itself. Now selecting in ARCHICAD is, uh, has a number of different ways in which you can select and a good thing to remember is ARCHICAD gives the priority to the selection for the tool that is on. So for example if I've got the mesh tool on, if I hold the shift key it temporarily turns the shift key into an arrow tool ready to select but it will select a mesh before it selects anything else and the same goes for all elements so if I wanted to select a roof above and beyond anything else I click on the roof tool hold down the shift key temporarily turns the cursor into an arrow tool but with the priority to selecting roofs um, so I'm going to click the mesh tool hold the shift key down click and up here you can see the info box reflects the characteristics of that mesh if I wanted to select the fill tool the fill for example I could put the fill tool on hold down the shift key temporarily turns the fill tool into an arrow tool but with the priority of selecting a fill okay you can see here the fill has been selected so there is a priority system where you objects overlapping other objects can easily be selected so what I'm going to do is select the mesh shift click open up the mesh tool now you can uh, click this button once or you can as I've shown you before double click the mesh tool in the info box does the same thing um, one of the things I can do is in this part of the palette I can uh, drag down and um, I can see where it says show on stories now, it's only visible on its home story but what I can do is make it visible on all stories so that when I say OK and jump up to the story above me I can see this dotted line that represents the site okay. um, what I'd like you to do is to create for yourself a story and set the mesh so that it's visible over more than one story and uh, see how you go.